The Phantom was already at the top of his game. Every call for now, match four now underway. Phantom going right to him. Shows knee strikes to the face. Whatever it takes, but trying to hold on, trying to stay behind the Phantom. I don't know how successful that's going to be. Phantom eventually throws them out. Nice leverage move by Vandal. Sitting back there with a lot of crowd. Vandal taking the knee right out from under him. And see, that's where Vandal made a mistake. I think he let the crowd get to him. Pride made him slide under that bottom rope a little faster than who you are in DCW. Vandal really torqued that knee. Look at the pressure he's put on it. Add a little pressure to the ankle as well. They are wrestling for the series. They are wearing each other down, going after specific body parts time and time again to try to pick up those wins in the crucial six and seven in the series if it gets that far. Phantom going right back to that leg. Putting pressure right off. Trying to put really pressure on that kneecap. Oh, driving the elbow to the Doing whatever he can to do the damage within legal parameters. Uh, Savannah was jumping on the foot of the Phantom. Phantom not wearing boots. That's going to be a, a target right there to stomp on the toes of the Phantom right there. It goes into that mixed martial arts style of the Phantom. He does not say the strikes that have led to victory after victory. Right on the pain, get their shoulders down. And now brings the leg across the chin. Nice counter move. Takes the arm. And goes back to the cross arm breaker. Phantom knows where he is, though. He knows he's too close to that. This is where Vandal is at a disadvantage. When Phantom has these moves on him, when Phantom is working these submission holds, Vandal's only escape is usually a series of strikes. And someday, oh, Phantom's going to put a hold on him. He's not going to be able to hit his way out of it. Oh, Vandal just planted that boot to the back of the head. Unable to get the proper, the proper foot planting to get a full strike in there. Catch him with that knee, he's holding him up! He's both legs, trying to fall in like an accordion for that pin. And smartly going right to him, that's Vandal's only weakness. But I don't know if you can say it's a weakness anymore. Strike to the back. Just driving him down. See, Vandal dropped down a gear, and now just driving the, the boot on the oh, right in the face. Turned his head to the side and just stomped the effective. His plan obvious, and the crowd can't help but react. Security there, but Phantom back up to his feet, just staring him down. Oh, you do not pose and preen in front of a Phantom. I don't care what kind of advantage you think you have. Phantom just absorbing those shots and a third. He'll get a little pressure in here, blocks that shot, and a headbutt by the Phantom. Oh, that's right between the eyes. Phantom will win again, and this time Phantom taking advantage. Yeah, this time Phantom not letting him just take a walk and get away. He's holding on to him.
slow, methodical, just plant right to the side of the head. This series is so crucial! Bam countering it. Another series of chops to the corner. Series of kicks out. High kick right to the chest. And an open palm thrust right to the side of the head. So we're trying to drag him away from those ropes. Could be all for an electric chair! Oh, 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 o